You know, there are people in this league that believe that you all don't have the attention span for some of my videos. They tend to be a little bit of a commitment, shall we say. I've been told that anything over a minute Fantasy football, get ready. Woo! We're making uh, another video, and we're doing it better than anyone else alive. Now, fumbled my beer. It's so hard for me to sit back here in this garage, looking at a guy out here, hollering my name, when last year I spent more money on spilled beer and cigars from one side of this city to the other, then you made. You're talking to the eye watch wearing, wedding ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling dealing, infinity riding, jet flying son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these Adidas down. Slicky dick, you're already so obsessed with the professor. And you changed your whole team name because of me. You're going to get your shot at the professor in week seven. For now, you can just look forward to getting crushed by Kugel. Because to be the man, woo, you got to beat the man, woo. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do next week when my man, the greatest of all time, the GOAT, Tampa Brady, beats Will Kelly's Patrick Mahomes, this time on a whole other field. Don't wrap me up. One question they all wanna know is, what's causing all this? You know what it is? intensified beer products you're talking about all man the professor Woo! Woo! right now there's a bunch of construction workers outside trying to help will kelly dig out of the hole he got himself in I'm gonna go help him. Now you know. Now you know that I'm not just some afterthought. Now you know I'm not some fly by night, flash in the pan, last minute fill in. Now you know to take me seriously. Now you know that I'm not just here to play. Now you know that I'm here to win. Now you're wondering if I can do that to the champ in my debut. What am I capable of next week? What am I capable of the rest of this season? <laughs> you stupid fucking cunt. You, Kugel, I'm talking to you, shithead. You just cost me $10. 10 
dollars and one most points scored week. That's right. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, asshole? You're fucking shit. Where did you learn your trade, you stupid fucking cunt, you idiot? Whoever told you that you could work with men? Oh, I'm going to stomp your team, shithead. I'm going downtown to talk to Joe and Dorota. I'm going to the commissioner. I don't care whose nephew you are, who you know, whose dick you're sucking on, you're going out. I swear to you, you're going... Anyone in this league lives on his wits. I'm going to be with you in a second. What you're hired for is to help us. Does that seem clear to you? To help us, not to fuck us up. To help men who are going out there to try to earn a living, you fairy, you company man. I'll tell you something else. I hope you rip the joint off. I could tell your friend here a little something that might help him catch you. You want to learn the first rule? You'd know if you ever spent a day in your life. You never open your mouth till you know what the shot is. You fucking child. Knock, knock. Who's there? Andy. Andy who? Andy winner is... The Professor. <laughs> <sighs> As if there was ever any doubt. First off, I have to apologize for the untimeliness of this video. As I've been a little under the weather this week. I can only surmise that Joe and Dee unsurprisingly colluded to infect me with whatever they were suffering from not long ago. And make no mistake about it, the professor will handle both of those teams soon enough. You know, one week is an anomaly. Two weeks, you're starting to see something. But three weeks, and you've got a trend, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> First place yet again as we head into week four, and to what would appear to finally be a worthy opponent for the professor. But what's this? Oh no, is Lamar Jackson questionable? <gasps> oh no, is DeAndre Swift questionable? <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Kugel Crushers. Kugel Crusher who? Kugel Crusher dreams now before the professor does. <laughs> Hey, Kugel, it's uh, me again. Listen, um, I think I left my phone charger in my car, so it's kind of sprinkling right now. So hoping you can get over here right away and um, just hold my umbrella while I go out to my car real quick. Uh, hoping you get this soon because it's kind of sprinkling and i feel like it's gonna get a little worse here so if you can just come over real quick and hold my umbrella um so i can just get that phone charger that'd be great thanks man bye at last i see tom brady is an angel 
Tom Brady is a saint on earth. The criminal, the villain, the man who's been cheating for almost two decades. Oh yeah, it's Bill Belichick. He's a cheater, he's a criminal, he's a fraud. We finally have exposed the true cheater. It's not Tom Brady, it's Bill Belichick. He's a cheater, he's a fraud, and he's a criminal. Jeez, my God, I almost rolled my ankle back there. Oh, I could have gotten a concussion. Anyways, I had to light up this big fatty tonight because we've got a Sunday evening special, folks. This week is all wrapped up already for the professor. The only question remaining is who's going to get the most points for the week. <laughs> Professor's already got one. We got some tight games to go and major upset potentials. I'll be watching and enjoying tonight's game and Monday night's game. Sitting back, waiting to get right back where I belong. First place, baby. Woo! The thief strikes once more. Again, my victory is stolen by a conniving cheater, but it doesn't matter. Another disappointing, but not unexpected outcome. I told you, 10 and four. Half my roster was injured last week. Some played, some didn't. It doesn't matter. I will face Tracy again in the playoffs. For now, it was a leveling week for this league. We've got Poogle. Undisputed in first at five and one. Tracy and myself get joined by Ken for second at four and two. Andy and Will neutralize each other to three and three. D sadly loses to Kugel to join Slicky Dick and Teeny Weeny at two and four. And Shoeless Joe, I mean, Winless Joe, no more, gets his first win. Stay alive at one in five. Can you believe it's week seven? It seems like just yesterday I was dethroning the champ. And now, after this week, we're halfway. Well, halfway for most of you. The rest of us will continue through the playoffs and my opponent this week loves my videos so much and he does suck that's why he's two and four he loved my videos so much he changed his team name in support really flattering so that's why I know Slicky Dick will be so glad to know that I'll be making a new video for him every day from now until the end of our matchup. And not just short one or two minute scripted clips that leave you wanting more, but real in-depth content where I go off script and you really get a 
personal sense of what this what this matchup is now because fast forward a few weeks from the draft and you're picking up my scraps like Giovanni Bernard enjoy those sloppy seconds <laughs> Better your bench than mine. <laughs> There's an old saying that goes, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. All sorts of trouble now for Seattle. And that's because, you know, the trouble is the fact that they haven't figured out a way to... I'm as stunned as you. Losing by point zero two after two sacks. The defense. And now it's fourth down. We get a fourth down stop. We, the Saints, it's not me. Oh my God. Coming down to the fire. If you thought this was a must win for Seattle, here's Gino. He don't got it. He don't got it. Number four wins it all. I don't believe it. Imagine being a Bears fan and watching the Steelers defense dominate your team, knowing that you drafted the Steelers defense and dropped them, allowing an idiot manager who should have started James Conner <laughs> over that bum Zach Moss to pick up that defense and use them to narrowly defeat you. <laughs> Imagine that.